Call of Duty might just do it to us again. For the last two years, Call of Duty's beta has been arguably better than the full game on launch. Let's backtrack a year. Modern Warfare 3's beta was arguably the most well-received beta that I can recall in the past recent years. The community was talking about how much they loved it and how the game actually felt arcadey again. Then, sure enough, the game came out and they slowed sprinting down added delays and made the game feel arguably way clunkier. Now let's backtrack another year in Modern Warfare 2. Probably one of the worst Call of Duties in a long time, but the beta had at least one thing that the whole community loved, and that's bunny hopping. And again, fast track, the game comes out, they remove bunny hopping, add delays to like every single animation, the community was not happy. So my concern is, will history repeat itself once again, and the game we get on launch is worse than the beta we received beforehand. Today I'll be going over everything from the Black Ops 6 beta and I'll be letting you know exactly how I feel. From playing the game early at Call of Duty Next to playing the game for the last two weekends at home, hopefully I can give you a little bit of insight on whether or not you should pre-order this game or wait another year. Now, first and foremost, let's go over gunplay. Honestly, gunplay is very, very difficult to kind of discuss. Now, different games and different developers make gunplay feel different. An Infinity Ward game feels very different from a Sledgehammer game, and a Sledgehammer game feels very different from a Treyarch game. They all still have that Call of Duty feel, but you can tell it's different. I'll start this off by saying Black Ops 6 definitely does feel like a Treyarch game. Now, what exactly does that mean? The way I perceive Call of Duty and the way I recall it back in the day, I've been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4, was very arcade style shooter. Somewhere during the recent years, I feel like this has kind of been lost and we've kind of strayed away and tried to make the game super realistic. In my opinion, I love arcadey games. Black Ops 6 feels incredibly arcadey and it's not taking itself too serious. One of my favorite games of all time is Black Ops 3. And this game playing the beta gave me small hits of dopamine and reminded me of back in the day. The way certain ARs in the beta one bursted reminded me of the M8. The way the Jackal kind of felt like the VMP from back in the day. Now, I don't know if this is just me, but the gunplay felt really, really good. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not all good. The game had its faults. The game has slightly less time to kill than Cold War. This makes for a pretty fast time to kill game. Now, I don't know if this was just the beta, but it felt like it took 12 bullets to kill somebody, but then it felt like you were dying in two. Now, one thing I will say is Omni Movement, which we will get to in a bit, change the way the gameplay feels, more specifically the gunplay. You can tell they put a really big emphasis on being able to make you feel free, especially in the middle of gunfights. Almost every sub feels incredibly fast, strafing left to right. You can even strafe backwards forward. This game feels significantly different than Modern Warfare 3 that we're currently playing right now. ARs definitely lacked, I feel like, at the beginning of the beta. During Beta Weekend 2, they upped the speeds on it, and I think that was honestly the best choice. ARs had good strafe, they had good ADS speeds. There were certain things that I think they could have sped up a little bit, but overall, I think they made great changes from Weekend 1 to Weekend 2. Now to summarize, is it good, bad, or somewhere in between? In my opinion, I think the gunplay actually felt really, really good. If you are a big fan of Treyarch games and that arcadey feel, you are going to like Black Ops 6 gunplay. Now, let's get into the next topic, which I think is probably the most important, is Omni movement and movement in general. If you've been watching the way Call of Duty and Activision have been marketing Black Ops 6, you'll notice that Omni movement is probably the one thing that's there bread and butter this year. So you would think that Omni Movement would be incredibly good, incredibly fluid, because if not, what's the point of buying Black Ops 6? Now I know movement is not everything, but it is a topic to discuss, and it is something that makes the game feel buttery or clunky, whether you're a casual or whether you're a hardcore sweat. So let's touch on the good before we touch on the bad. If I can describe Omni Movement in one word, I think the best way to describe it is fluid. Anything you wanna do, you can do. If you want to slide to the left, you can. If you wanna slide backwards, if you wanna slide to the right, if you wanna dive backwards, you can. The ability to have your character feel like it's on a string and you can do whatever your mind imagines, that right there, to me, defines fluidity. Like I said earlier, this combined with gunplay makes close range gun engagements feel absolutely insane. Now, I wanna to add to this. This does not mean you have to be insanely cracked and be so good at the game and get super cracked movement because at the end of the day, gun skill wins all. You can have this crazy movement and you can do these crazy things, but if you're not gonna hit your shots, then it doesn't matter. Now, I'm not sure how this movement will be received to the general public, but in my eyes, I only see benefits. 
Not putting limitations to the way your character feels and being able to do practically anything you want to do, to me, is nothing but a positive. I can see the potential to do absolutely insane things from diving off ledges to sliding backwards to doing absolutely crazy stuff. The possibility is there to do it. Now, let's get on to the bad. Before I get into this, I want you to watch this video by my man, T-Captain. And honestly, I gave feedback to the devs during COD Next and I told them the game feels clunky for some reason. It feels fluid when it comes to the Omni movement, but something was throwing me off. I couldn't quite put my finger on it of why the game felt so good one minute, but then the next minute it felt so clunky. My man T-Captain made a video that described it absolutely perfectly. Shout out my go, make sure to hit that man with a follow. All right, so this is one of my biggest gripes or problems that I have with the kind of movement system, especially diving and tax sprint when it comes to Black Ops 6. So if I'm standing still and I want to quickly sprint and dive, uh, if I'm playing on hybrid right now, so for me, I need to press L3 and then hit my slide or dive button. I cannot just quickly do this. If I try to quickly L3 and dive, my guy just stops and crouches. Uh, you have to run for a moment and then dive. And so this prevents you from doing some cool stuff. Whereas let's say I wanted to quickly maybe dive out to the side here. I can't just quickly do that. I have to get momentum and go and dive. And the same thing is true with sliding. So if I wanted to just quickly, you know, strafe right and slide cancel out, I can't. I have to get momentum and it's a lot. Like you have to get sprinting for a full maybe half second or so before you can do any input. You're going to see I'm getting all these dead slides here. Whereas if we jump over to MW3 in Warzone, it's a lot easier for to make these quick movements. So I barely have to move forward. I have to basically just press L3. And basically, as long as I'm pressing L3, even if I'm like pretty much standing still, you can get right into a dive. And same with sliding. You can just uh, I'm playing on auto attack sprint as basically as soon as I press forward, I can slide. Now there still are dead slides and I think that is an issue, but the delay from being able to sprint and then do a movement like sliding or diving is a lot less in MW3. Fluidity I describe as being able to do anything it is that you want to achieve. Snappiness is how fast or how long it takes to achieve the movements that you want to achieve. Black Ops 6 is incredibly fluid, but it is not snappy. On the contrary, Modern Warfare 3 is not necessarily the most fluid, but it's incredibly snappy. Right now, these delays are making the game feel clunky during certain engagements. And I think a big part of that has to do with these delays from sliding from left to right or diving. Things just kind of feel like there's a one millisecond delay to everything you're trying to achieve. And you go from a game like Modern Warfare 3, where you can activate everything instantly, it feels like things definitely got faster with Omni Movement, but at the same time, slower because of the added delays. Now, to summarize it all, is movement good, bad, or somewhere in between? In my opinion, the movement right now is somewhere in between. I genuinely think Black Ops 6 has the capabilities to be one of the best movement Call of Duties probably ever. Now, whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing is completely up to your interpretation. To me, it's a good thing and I do genuinely love it. I'm hoping that this feedback can get to Treyarch and they can try to get rid of all these delays that we've been kind of plagued with since Modern Warfare 2. Now on to the next subject. I can sit here and talk to you on how the gunplay feels. I can sit here and tell you how the movement feels, but at the end of the day, the only thing that actually matters is did I have fun or not? Was the fun factor there? Sometimes games can take one route where they try to make a game too realistic or they try to add too much and they think that that's what the community is going to love, but then people don't find it fun. And then sometimes developers keep things really, really simple. And sure enough, sometimes people think the game that's simple is a lot more fun than a game that overcomplicates things. So to me, I genuinely did enjoy this beta. Now, I'm not going to get my hopes up too much because again, we've been let down for the last two years. Modern Warfare 3 beta was genuinely so fun for me as well. It gave me that arcade feel like I had no limitations on my character. And again, the game came out and they added limitations. Now, the same thing is happening again, where the beta is really fun. I do feel slight delays here and there, but genuinely, I'm having a good time. I am very concerned that the game's gonna come out in a month or two, and they're gonna add all these delays back, they're gonna change a bunch of things, and the game is just not gonna feel as arcadey as I would've liked. Now, all the negativities aside, I did find myself playing this for the last two weekends and kinda had to force myself off. I went from Black Ops 6 beta, went to go play Warzone, felt like Warzone felt clunky, and had to go back to the beta. That can kind of tell you more or less where my stance is on this game. Now to summarize everything as a whole, I'm keeping my guard up. I'm scarred from the last 
two years of them changing it up on us when the game actually launches. I pray and I hope that this isn't due to them trying to get us to pre-order the game and they change it when it releases. Treyarch had four years to cook this game up and I'm honestly really happy with where the starting point is, keeping in mind that this was a beta. Now, everything depends on where we go from here. We're kind of at a crossroads where this game could be really, really good, or it can take the direction of Modern Warfare 2 and add a bunch of delays and add a bunch of limitations, and then we kind of lose sight of what Call of Duty is again. I do think this game is not just meant for the crazy sweats. I do think this game is meant for everybody. Modern Warfare 2 came out and they claimed this to be a game for everyone. But in reality, they made that game for the slower player style. With Black Ops 6, you can genuinely play however it is you wanna play. If you want to get cracked, learn Omni Movement and be absolutely insane, you can. But if you wanna play tactical, if you wanna hold premiums and you wanna try to get a bunch of kills, you can. I've seen slower players drop nukes on the beta and go absolutely insane. And then I've seen people with crazy movement not be able to get more than 12 kills. At the end of the day, I hope you guys can make an opinion on whether or not buying this game is worth it or not. And I hope that this video kind of helped you decide whether you want to pull the trigger or not. Bottom line is, if you think the game looks fun to you, buy it. If you don't, don't. On this end, I'm going to continue to keep my guard up and I'm going to continue to hope that Call of Duty does not repeat the same process again for the last two years.